What is up guys and girls, it's me, GameShark, and welcome back to another video. Today I am starting a brand new playthrough series on Graveyard Keeper. This game is amazing, I'm really enjoying it, and a lot of you guys have been wanting to see a playthrough series on my channel. So I thought we'd start it off today with episode 1 and see how well this goes down. If you guys do want to see a full playthrough series and you want to see more episodes, all you got to do is hit that like button down below and let me know in the comments and I will keep putting more episodes out. Now I've played quite a lot of this game before, as you can see, I've got um, a save here that I've been playing myself. Also I played the Alpha quite a lot, I had like nearly 300 days on the Alpha. So I do know quite a lot about this game, I've been making a few videos on it as well, some guides and stuff like that for you guys, which I've got more coming out. But we are just going to start a brand new game today and do the series and the story together and see how far we can get. So here we are, we've just had our accident, looks like we've been hit by a car and uh, we've woke up with this mystical person here. He said, calm down, you merely turned a page in your life. A whole new chapter awaits you ahead, but I need to go home. Can I go home? There is always a way to get home. Let me see, your new home is a graveyard. Does that mean I'm dead? It means you're a graveyard keeper now, but I need to go home to my love. Then you need to be a good graveyard keeper. You should dig up Jerry. He'll help you sort everything out. Who? What a strange vision. What is this nightmare? Okay, let's find Jerry. So that is our new task. We've got to find Jerry, who of course is the skull. I'll probably go through this pretty fast at the beginning because obviously I've played this game quite a lot already and I know what to do. So here he is. Holy sorry, I'm a skull. Are you Jerry? Mm, why would you think I'm Jerry? Well, a man with a red eye told me that I need to dig up Jerry. A red eye. I remember. Oh, sorry, that's right. I'm Jerry. How did you find me? The man told me that you'd answer all my questions. Good, good. But first, let me ask you, who are you and where the sword are we? I must be dreaming. None of this can be real. Hmm, you're the new graveyard keeper. What else do I remember? Let me think. I remember that sound. Let's go check it out. Everything is so strange. None of this makes sense. I definitely remember that bell and the donkey. Something is very wrong with that animal. Hmm, he could be dangerous. You know, I think it'll be better if I wait for you here. I might scare the poor thing. So here is the talking donkey who delivers the dead corpses. Got a fresh corpse from the town. Wow, a talking donkey. You, you can understand me? Let's talk. Who are you? I'm cheap labour. This car isn't mine, so I have to work for the capitalist bastard who owns it. And I only earn five carrots a day. This situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? The bastard pretends that he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. Anyway, I need to go back to the town. You get rid of this one and I'll bring you a new one. What a strange land this is. So here is our first corpse that we obviously need to work on and get in the ground because we're a graveyard keeper. Hey, what are you staring at? Grab that juicy corpse while it's still fresh. What for? I feel like we should take it to the morgue. I don't remember why exactly, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fun. And might be profitable. Oh, I'm going to puke. Let's do it. So press E to pick up bodies. There we go. And then we're going to take it into the morgue and perform an autopsy on it. I like this place. Feels like home. Put the body on the autopsy table. And then, hmm, what's next? Oh yes, yeah, slice some flesh from the corpse. That should be good starters. What? No way. This isn't right. Sure, sure, it's not right. How could I forget? Maybe because I'm talking... I'm a talking skull with amnesia. It is right that you don't know where they are. It is right that I'm a skull. Nothing is right here. So shut the sword up and do what the hell I tell you. You promise you'll tell me how to get home. You just need to trade the meat in the village tavern for a beer. Talking skulls never lie. And then bring the beer to me. So we've got our first ever blueprint. Of course, it is the pallet and the preparation place and we can extract flesh. So we'll put him on there and we'll get rid of the flesh right away. We can't obviously take any more body parts off just yet. So this body isn't going to be very good um, flesh. Guys, in this playthrough series, we are going to get the greatest ever graveyard. We are going to be the best graveyard keeper and we're going to create the best graveyard ever. So now we can create burgers and sandwiches and of course, baked meat as well. <laughs> That's disgusting. Yeah, you'll get used to it. So what should I do with the corpse? I don't know. Let's bury it. Take the corpse. I'll wait for you in the graveyard. Okay, take the body. Let's go to the graveyard. This one needs burying. Okay, here he is. Let's bury it. We already know how to do this. We've got to dig, obviously. We've got to get the blueprint desk, mark our site for the, the grave, and then dig it up and put the body in. We've got a shovel, so now we can just do the blueprint grave site. We are going to put our first one just up here. We can dig it up. This body isn't going to be very good. 
but after this we can work on it. We've got our first burial certificate which we can sell. Nicely done, the burial certificate, I remember, money, alcohol. Alcohol, hmm, I sure used to like it a lot. Oh sorry, here comes the bishop, he's your boss. Here he is. Oh ho, I know, ask him about the burial certificate, he should know something. I better leave now, I'll be in the morgue waiting for my beer. Dear me, I'm so tired. Why, why do I have to come here every week? Well, here he is. Oh, Keeper, there you are. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but your graveyard is a mess. There is no way I'm promoting you to Cleric until you fix it. Okay, so we've got to increase the graveyard's overall quality. We need to use the wooden markers, the gravestones, dig up all this mess, and try and get to five graveyard Keeper rating, and he'll promote us to the Cleric. You look like a spiritual leader, and I'm a good judge of character. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm good at everything, that's why I was chosen to represent his will. Ha <laughs> ha. He used to keep his stuff in a trunk somewhere here, you should check it. I'll come by again next week. In fact, I come every week on this little icon here, which is the sun. Which is pride, pride day. Maybe I'm dreaming, did I eat something? Ha, <sighs> he's waiting, what should I say? Why is it you come here? It's part of my duty, the unpleasant part, it's kind of an old tradition. I don't know how about all the traditions and rituals. I'm just here to represent his might and glory. <laughs> I have one tiny question. What is the burial certificate? As soon as a body has been laid to rest, you can trade it for a burial certificate. For money at, at the village tavern. New task. Okay, so where is the village? I already know this, but we'll ask anyway. Go east from the graveyard gate along the old road. What about the town? Oh, the town is the heart of a glorious land. The palace, the cathedral, everything is there. You should see it for yourself. Hmm, but in those clothes, that would be rather funny, haha. <laughs> How can I get to the town? It's not far from the village, just head south from the tavern. Okay, I need to go home. There's a talking skull, he forced me to butcher a corpse. Haha, <laughs> a fine joke. I'm humorous to myself. Here's one. Who is BB? Who? I am. Haha. <laughs> oh god. Blessed and beautiful. Yeah, let's just ignore him. Um. If you run out of repair kits while fixing the graveyard, you can always craft new ones. So we can use the uh, table to craft some new some new things. Repair kits, okay. Right, we've got this stone stockpile, stone rocks, the timber stockpile. We can cut down small trees and get logs and sticks. And here is the skill tree. This is where we are going to be leveling up to become the greatest ever graveyard keeper. Okay guys, so the first thing we need to do is go up to this trunk and take all our things out. We've got some uh, repair kits and of course an axe, a pickaxe and a rusty hammer. Now it's telling us to go away and go to the tavern I think. But we are going to clear some of this up with the energy we've got. Get some sticks and of course get this rating a lot better. We're currently on minus 27. We need to get this to plus 5. So it might take a little while, but we'll do it. And then we can use some of the repair kits as well to make some of these graves a lot better. And what I am going to do as well is get some grave sites down ready. That should do for now. So all these are going to be prepared, ready for when new bodies come. So we don't have to do it later on. And what I normally do with the energy that I've got as well, I'll actually dig one up now ready. So then when the corpse comes, we can work on it and get it straight in the ground without having to drop it on the floor and uh, dig those ourselves. So we've just about done everything that we can here for now. So let's just go and do the task, which is going into the tavern. We need to speak to the shopkeeper. I talk to him about, obviously, the meat, the flesh, and the burial certificates. So let's go ahead and do this before the day ends. I'm going to keep these episodes around 25 minutes long. If you guys want more or less, just let me know. Give me an idea on how long you think these episodes should be. It gives me an understanding of what you want to do and how you'd like to watch them. Now, it feels weird playing this game again because I've already played quite a lot. And I know all the beginning stuff. Obviously, I've not completed the game. I've, there's loads that I haven't done. Maybe we can get to that stage and it'll all be new for me as well. But there's still some things I don't know. And we could do it all differently. So let's try. So here is the tavern. It is called the Dead Horse. And people like to come and have a drink in here. And we've got some quests. Let's talk to the lady up here first. You must be the new graveyard keeper. So I've been told. But how did you know? Ugh, if you live as long as I have, you'll probably learn how to read people too. But where's my manners? I'm Miss Chain, Horridrick's wife. Nice to meet you. I have a few questions about- Ho, ho. You better talk with my husband. He's in charge around here. He's not only the tavern keeper, but also the elected head of the village. Okay. Besides, he really does like to talk. All I can do is sell you some recipes. So, we can buy some re recipes from her. These are obviously for cooking. We get fish, tasting healthy, sweet bacon, and pies. But we've got no money for that juice yet. But at least we know where we can get them from. And here is Horridrick, who attends behind the bar. 
Welcome to the Dead Horse Tavern. I am Horodric. How can I help you? I came from the graveyard. I woke up here today and things have been crazy since then. Oh, sorry. How could I not have recognized you? Good. This is good. Things are looking bright for our small village. When are you planning on opening the church? I need to fix the graveyard first. Sure, sure. It's been a while since anybody took care of it. So, let's get down to business, shall we? How can I help you? Right, I'm going to ask about the burial certificate first because this is what we need to do. The bishop told me that you would buy my burial certificates. Yes, he's right. As the head of the village, according to the ancient contract, I have to trade it for money. Of course, only if I have any, only if I have any money. What do you mean? The village is going through hard times. We're short on money. But as soon as you open the church, pilgrims will bring lots of shiny coins to the village. Um, let's talk about how we can get back home. That's what we want to do. Can you tell me where I am because I really need to get home. My darling wife will be so worried. Hmm, you're at the dead horse. Okay, it looks medieval. Maybe I traveled through time. And what year is it now? Year? What do you mean? The time it takes for the earth to make one revolution around the sun. Oh, you're, you've been listening to the astrologer's nonsense. Everybody knows that the earth is flat. But I get you, it's 204 after the ancient contract. And what is the name of your beloved kingdom? The kingdom, and it is definitely not beloved here in the village. Do you have any other questions? Let's talk about the meat. Meat is a delicacy in our village. I'd be glad to buy it. I just need to see the royal meat stamp on it. So we do need to get a stamp so we can sell our meat to Horridge. Many years ago, there was an ancient with an inappropriate meat. Ever since, all meat must be approved by royal authority. And I don't need any trouble with the town. Does your meat have a stamp? Mm, nope. I don't even want to know where you get authorized meat, but wow, it really looks good. But without a stamp, my hands are tied. Where can I get this stamp? You can send a form to the royal court through the mailbox near your church, but it'll cost you a bundle. But there is another way, I'll tell you, just because we're neighbors. Come closer. Okay, I'm closer. There's this guy called Snake. I think he is, he has a fake royal stamp. But to be honest, I haven't seen him for a while. You can ask Miss Charm. She comes here every, whatever icon that is. And I bet she can help you find Snake. Thanks, okay. Let's trade. You kindly take this letter to our local blacksmith, Kresvold. Sure, where can I find him? The southeastern corner of the village. Okay, well, I'm gonna sell this. There we go. We've made our money today, one silver and 50 copper. Um, and we can go and get this quest done to the blacksmith. But first we're gonna talk about the town. Um, the Inquisitor can grant a town pass or you can just purchase a citizenship. Ah, the Inquisitor can give you a town pass, okay. Let me think. You know there's a village who got, there's one villager who got a town pass. Miss Charm, maybe she can help you. Okay, let's go to the blacksmith. There's a lot of talking in this beginning. My jaw is aching. I've never talked so much in my life. So here is the blacksmith and he's still open. Hey, what are you staring at? Nothing, just looking around. I think the grave, I, I am the keeper of the local graveyard. May I ask who you are? Unfortunately, I am the local blacksmith. My name is Cresswold. Give him the letter. There we go from Horridrick. A letter, of course. One minute away and he can't even be bothered to calm himself. Oh, I guess old habits never die. Thank you. Sorry for my nagging. It seems it's my new habit. Hmm, slimes again. Horridrick, he asked me to get rid of them. I don't have the time for those pesky little green bastards, but maybe you can help. Take the rusty sword and an energy potion. The sword is broken, but you can repair it with a whetstone on the grinder behind me. You can keep the whetstone, maybe you'll need it to repair your shovel sometime. If you manage to kill them, bring me the remains and I'll spare you some materials. They should be right up there, other side of my house, near the puddles. Okay, let's go. Let's repair the sword, there we go. Now we're gonna kill some slams. We've not got much stamina though. Let's see what we can do. Here they are. Whack. One down. There we go. I forgot how many we needed. Did it say five? There's only two there. Maybe that's all we need. Let's go and check. Oh yeah, defeated the two slimes. Um, ask him about the metal ore as well. You can find metal ore in the swamp soil. There's a huge swamp to the west across the river. I used to collect ore there before the bridge collapsed. Okay, we've got the furnace blueprint. We can create iron ingots and we can gather some swamp iron. Okay, we deleted the two slimes as well. Here we go. We've got five iron parts. We can create some green and red jelly. Okay. Of course, we can buy things from him if we need to as well. But I think that is about everything. I don't know what else we need to do now. Go back to the town maybe. Tell him that we've given him the letter. Don't know if it's still open or not. The village is safe. The village is safe. Here we go. It's good to know how to use a sword. Told me about how to help him. 
have a beer. It's on the house. Okay, nice. So we can give that to Jerry, right? Right. Um, there's nothing else we can do. Oh, he gave us the beer, which is cool. Find a stamp. Okay, we can't do anything else just yet. So let's get back home, maybe. Sleep up and see what we can do. Got to talk to Jerry. Do some quests. We might have a fresh body come as well soon. Oh, here he is. Psst. Come here. Where have you been? I was at the village. This place is so weird, but it feels so real. And everybody is okay with me just appearing out of nowhere. So hard. You're stealing my thoughts. Stealing. I remember there's a cellar in your cottage. Some provisions must be stored there. Right, we can now gather berries, apples, and mushrooms. This is going to be good to get our energy up at the start, so we will get some of them. Wheat. Exactly, I remember baking bread out of it. And pies. Hmm, sweet berry pies. Okay, so we can now make dough and pastry and bread as well. Toast, onion toast. That's good with the beer. You know what? I need a beer. This is the beginning. I feel like a one-sided relationship. Bring me beer and I'll tell you a lot of important stuff, like how you can get home. Okay. Let's ask about the small road. I look like a... I'll be waiting for my beer at my place. No beer, no answers. Oh, okay. We well, definitely needs beer first before we ask many questions. I'm going to get these berries because this would be quite good to eat for the beginning. Mushrooms aren't that good because they take health off you as well. Because they're poisonous if you don't cook them. But this is the garden. We can claim it later on. Start doing a bit of farming. I'm going to use the last bit of energy and clean up some of this... Uh, work yard because we're gonna need to start crafting some things down here later and we've got no room But of course our energy is really low as well, right? We've got no stamina already. That was uh, fast. All right, this is the blueprint desk We already know we can store wood logs here and rock boulder thing stones there. I'm gonna go to sleep guys and We will play maybe one more day See what we can do Right there we go. We've had a full day sleep and we've got a ghost inside our bedroom. Oh god. This is not good. Not good at all. Who do you think you are? I'm the graveyard keeper. Oh, hooray, a keeper. Wow. I've been here for... Hmm, how long? I'm Yorick. I'm so lonely. Poor, poor me. It's too bad you're here. Ooh, wait. We have a rather unpleasant fellow buried here. We'd really like you to have a new neighbor instead. That sounds like something you can help us with. I'm not exactly sure why I'm here, actually. Jerry only told me about burying bodies. You're Yorick, and he's Jerry. Funny. Oh, the off-dead skull. That jealous bastard. <laughs> he can only dream of what a peaceful rest we're having. Oh, how am I kidding? It's terrible here, especially that guy down in the lower right corner grave. He's so mean. So this is one of the guys from the grave. Could you just get rid of him? Just dig him up and throw him in the river. Okay, the bottom right. I can give you this license that I stole back when I was alive. You're such a dummy. To dig up a corpse, you need a license. The hold keeper used to buy them through the mailbox near the church. So he wants us to dig up one of his neighbors in the gravestones who he's not getting on with. So uh, we can go ahead and do that. He said the bottom right, okay? So this one is gonna be right here. This one right there. Let's go and have a look. If it's a bad body, then it's fine because we're going to get more rating anyway. Let's see how many good deeds and bad deeds he has done. Uh, he only had uh, one sin. He did a lot of good deeds and only had one sin because that's what that means. The red scores are sins and the white ones are good deeds. So he wants us to get rid of him, which is a shame because he's actually not a bad body. But I'm right. Yeah. Okay, there we go. We've got to throw him in the river, apparently. Let's go. Goodbye, buddy. I'm just doing a quest. No, no one's around. No one's going to see this, right? Let's just have a look. No. Okay, shh, shh. Right. Goodbye, buddy. Have a good life. I'll send my blessings forever. Take these berries, too. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. What do you think you're doing here? A ghost asked me to get rid of that body. So what? Now you're just going to do anything he asks? It's not like he can do anything to you. He's disembodied. Whereas I could bite you to death while you're sleeping. Of course, I'd never do anything like that because we're friends. But you get my point, right? Anyway, if you ask me, the best way to get rid of the body is to burn it. How can I burn a body? You know what? You're one of those guys who looks a lot smarter than they actually are. Thanks. That's what I'm talking about. You need fire and some wood. <laughs> it's a bit tricky to make the whole thing burn to ash. Where can I burn it? You need a nice, quiet place, like the place I use for my meditation. Across the road from the mort mortuary entrance and near the cliff. Where does that river lead? Somewhere in the town. Okay, so that is the body done. Of course, we can get the um, the crematorium later on just here. We need the uh, blueprint for it and then we can start burning bodies as well, which means you can still get the burial certificates once you burn their body, so you're not wasting it when you chuck it into the river. Okay, so there's not much more to do around there now. I'm just going to maybe collect some resources, see what we can build and craft. Um, a new body should come soon, actually. Get our first one in the ground. 
clear up some of these and get some sticks. This game, it, it takes a very long time to start earning your money and uh, advancing. It is a very slow progressing game, but once you get somewhere in the game where you start earning money, it becomes a lot faster and easier to, to play. Okay, so it looks like we don't have any body today. Gives us time to just maybe get some logs, chop some trees down, get ready to start doing some work. And then we can put all of our logs into here. And then we can work on them a bit later on. Got some more stuff I want to knock down though. At least we're getting some resources. Okay, so just up here we can like gather some... Ooh, bats. We can gather some iron just there. Got him. Got a bat wing from that. Can we collect iron yet? I think we can, right? Yeah, it's like swamp iron. So, yeah, we can get a few cheeky iron as well. Another bat here. Ooh, get away. There's a few of them around here. Oh my goodness. They just hit each other. <laughs> Double kill. Right, that's them taken care of. I'm just going to get a few iron. I don't know if... We haven't got the furnace yet, but we can craft it soon, I believe. So if we start getting some iron straight away, it's going to be all right. I'll get this one piece, and that should do us for now. Stamina's running low already. Okay, that's going to be enough for now. We have got some berries and some potions that we got for free. That's going to be our main source of stamina for now. Okay, so in this chest here, I'm going to keep all of our sticks. Stones, the wet stones, some iron parts... The ore, anything we don't really need now. I'm going to sleep and I'm going to go back to the grave and repair some of the stones that we've got that aren't that great. And that should be all right. Okay, it's a new dawn. It's a new day. And here he is again. What do you want? It's much nicer without him in the graveyard. I'm still so sad though. I'm so lonely. I was bad when I was alive. I should have been a better person. What do you mean? We're dead, but we still deserve some respect. Oh, fine. I'll teach. I'll tell you. Each corpse is a soul's vessel. It bears the mark of his life. Sins are the red ones and good deeds are the white ones, just like I said. Even the best decorations can't make Graveyard a peaceful place when it is full of red schools. I'm not sure that I understand what you're talking about. I'm sure you don't. <laughs> you better take a good care of the Graveyard. I'll be watching you. I can't do anything. I'm so sad. Boo hoo! So he's just told us about the graves with the sins and the good deeds, which I already told you guys about. Now, I'm going to turn this meat into a raw sliced meat, and then we can, I think, cook this with some bread. But we need some, uh, oh yeah, we need to fuel it up. We can cook the baked meat, sorry. But then we need we need to fuel it up first, so what we can do as well, yeah, let's go and repair some of the bad, broken headstones and uh, fences around the gravestones. We'll make these nicer, get the rating a little bit better. It takes a while before you can get this uh, plus five. We need lots of bodies to come. Right, so this one we need to go, it's not a very good body, but if we can repair these, we can use them again. So let's fix this one up. That's that one done. Um, let's repair this. Let's repair both of these. We'll do the stone one, and then we should be able to do that wooden one as well with the last one. There we go, that's all of them used. And now we've got plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one on all of those. If we had better bodies in there, of course, we'd uh, get a lot, a lot higher rating. But we're on minus 11 already, just from the start. That's not too bad. A few more bodies whacked in there. A few more of these repaired as well. We've currently not got any, any more uh, repair kits. Well, that's all we can do for now. That's not too bad. Uh, I wonder if we get a body today, actually. Let's see if we can get the body before the video ends, this episode ends. If, it, if we do get a body today, it will come when the moon just about is about to show. So that'd be pretty nice. So we get these berries again as well. The more berries, the better. I think each one gives you two, two. It's not too bad. And here is the body, like I said. Oh, the berries aren't here. I thought they'd come back every single day. Okay, well, let's sort this body out anyway. Um, I think we can only get flesh from it right now. So the bodies aren't going to be great for a long time. We need to do the skill tree, which is here. And we can start. Oh, we can actually get some now. Yeah, I'm going to get the blood and fat straight away. And that's a good idea because we can start getting some really high quality bodies straight away. Um, I don't really need the schools just yet. I could save them for a little while. But we can get some simple gravestones as well. So we'll go ahead and do that. And now we should be on to a winner. Let's wait for the body to come. And we'll see if we can craft any stones as well, actually. And we can make some of these uh, corpses have really good rating. So there's the first body. Let's go ahead and see how many red schools it's got. Sins, hopefully if it's just one. It is one. So what we can do here, guys, is either remove blood or the fat. Both of these two things will remove that red school completely. Of course, if it works, because there is a chance of things failing because you're not very experienced, it could go wrong. But today, it didn't. So we've got a free white school body, which is perfect. We can't get any better on that for now because we haven't got the right blueprints and skills. So let's get this into the ground. This should give us a, a good rating here. It should put us onto zero with this. There we go. 
And of course, we get a certificate, and if we do put a stone on there, that should knock it up to at least two, three. So let's see if we can craft anything, like any stones or fences or anything. Let's have a look. Don't think we've got enough wood in that just yet. Right, so we are going to need... We can't do any of them yet. We need to get onto the technology and go onto the wood. And we need this here, the sawing. So we can start getting some flitch and billets. So let's go ahead and do that. We can't get firewood just yet either. But that's fine. I don't think we need that yet. So now can we go up here and get the sawhorse? Yes, we can. I'll keep this right here. There we go. Let's build it up. We should be able to get our first bit of um, wood products from this. Right, so I'm going to get the flitch first because I think I said, said we needed this. Now let's have a look what else we can get. Right, we need the... It's the furnace we need, really. We just need some stone. Let's go ahead and get some stone. We'll be able to get the furnace. Then we can start getting some iron. And that's going to be pretty good. I don't think we can make any gravestone heads yet and fences. We need the stone cutter and the workbench. The wooden workbench, I think. So let's just get some stone and do the furnace for now. In fact, it's a bit pointless having the furnace as well because we've not got no firewood yet. That's going to be a problem. I'm going to drink my two potions so we can get a lot more done today before we sleep. This episode might be a little bit longer, guys, because it's the first one. It's the introduction. After this, I'll keep them, like I said, around the 25-minute mark. This one might be over that, I believe. Well, yeah, it's definitely got to be. Okay, so that's that done. Let's see what we can do here now. Right, and we can get the furnace. Now, this thing is huge. Got to keep it down here at the bottom. I always have it there. I don't know why. I think it's just a little easier. We need to upgrade this space. And there we go, guys. We've now got the furnace, but we need to fuel this up. We can use sticks, but you don't get many, but I'll, I'll use 20 for now. And we can get some iron ingots on the go. I'm mean, looking to get just one, because that's all we've got. Brilliant. Okay, well, it's better than nothing. But I think I'm going to end that one there, guys. We need to sleep anyway. Um, yeah, this is episode one. A brand new start, Graveyard Keeper. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more, please, guys, hit that like button. Share it with your friends. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you're new. It all helps me out, guys. I appreciate all the support. And thank you all for watching. This game is amazing. I really enjoying it. And it's going to be a pleasure to play through a playthrough series with you guys. Get all your feedback and your support. Any tips and tricks in the comments, let me know. But thanks for watching. And I'll see you all on the next video.